We continue to preview the 2023 college football season, and our stop today is Crowley, Louisiana, where we get to visit with Don Lee, who is the inaugural head football coach for John Melvin University. The Millers will be playing in their first football season in 2023. We'll start right there for you, Coach. Congratulations on this new opportunity. Thank you so much. Really appreciate you having the opportunity to just to talk to me today. Coach, I want to talk sports and, and other things here on the broadcast today, but let's start with John Melvin University. And we laughed about this just a little bit before we got on the air. Until six hours ago, I didn't know that there was a John Melvin University. And so I've learned a lot about it in the past few hours. I want to give you the opportunity to talk about this university, a Christ-centered university in South Central Louisiana, Crowley, Louisiana, uh, just right there on I-10. Right, right on I ten. I tell you, it's a it's a blessing um, to be able to start not just a football program, but to start a school right here off of I ten, right in between Houston, and you're going right into Lafayette. Man, some of the great football in the South. Well, it it's a, a place that is growing, and you all have had athletics there already in the twenty two twenty three season with some spring sports that uh, got underway. But football starting in the fall and really is a, a quick pace to get it going. That earlier, we'll talk about your schedule, an eight-game schedule. That's a little bit later on, but, I mean, eight games already in 2023. What's the roster look like right now? You know, we're, we're at uh, just right now at 74. My goal is to have about 85, and we're almost there. We've got about 30 more that's on the board. So it's it's looking really good, and we've got probably uh, 75% of them is from the state of Louisiana. That's a big plus. That was a that was one of the reasons why I wanted to take the job is because the athletes are probably in a 90 to 100 mile radius right off of I-10, some of the best football in the country. Coach, you're, you're right, and, there, and that may be something not everyone realizes, but football rosters across the country are littered with players from the state of Louisiana that go and they excel uh, outside. So to be able to recruit there, I'm sure, is, is fantastic. Camp is coming up, I know, not very far from now, uh, you talked about 74 on the roster. What's the competition starting to look like? Do you know much about them? You know, you know what? I, I love, you know, kind of building because you got you get an opportunity to see where it starts and also to, to have a measuring stick every year. Um, we've got some great athletes coming in uh, this year. Uh, we didn't have any problems getting your DBs, your receivers, your quarterback, uh, your skilled kids. Uh, just having a little bit of hard time to get your big lineman. If it's a big lineman out there, and everybody in the country wants them right now. So we, we're limited a little bit on the linemen, but we do have a you know a good group coming in, O-line and D-line this year. Good group of kids coming in. Coach, that sounds like an opportunity for someone who might be listening the, to this then to say, hey, I'm a big lineman. I need to give you a call. <laughs> oh, yes, sir. We, we, we don't stop recruiting into that until at least the school starts. So I've been in it for a long time. You never close the door. We want, you know, we want the opportunity for them to come and play here at John Melvin University. We're speaking with Don Lee now, the the inaugural head coach for John Melvin. The Millers, again, playing in 2023. And we're right here on Midwest Sportsnet, and I encourage you, please continue to enjoy the videos here. We're enjoying right now talking about the 2023 college football season as we talk about small college sports and more throughout the Midwest and beyond. Coach, you're uh, the first opportunity in Crowley. However, this is by no stretch of the imagination, your first rodeo. You've had the opportunity to coach on so many levels. Talk about that a little bit. Oh, I tell you, it's a blessing. You know, I, and I've got to go back a little bit to kind of give the credit of uh, what happened last year. We, we're not just building a football team here. We're building a whole university right here off of I-10. Uh, it started with 80 kids last year. We had baseball, we had basketball, and we had uh, soccer and softball. These kids did it with no state funding, uh, no government funding, just two guys with an idea that, you know, just to put Christ back into the education part. And I got to take my hats off. I've done this at several universities. I've rebuilt about seven. I started about two. Uh, I've never seen it, you know, happen like that. I've never seen it move this fast. I've never seen that, um, you know, in one year now we come in with accreditation. It usually takes you two and a half to three years. I mean, God's got his hands on this university. Just to see where it came in from February to now, we've got 80, you know, 80 some, we can equip 80 some kids, you know, with, with zero funding. You, you, you tell me, that is nobody but God. He, he's allowed us to build right here off of I-10. Uh, and I kind of talked at my other place, and everybody bear with me. Uh, as I talk, you know, I've, I've said 
it's it's something with building a program. It's not like going to LSU or going to Auburn or even the, going to Louisiana uh, Christian or even going to Texas Wesleyan. They've already established it. We're starting it from the ground level. That means that there's going to be problems. There's going to be dorm issues. They're going to be eating issues. They're going to be uh, all kind of issues. But it's not the issues. It's how you handle the issues. Coach, talk about that a little bit, too. As uh, I was uh, doing my research to learn a little bit more about you and, and what you've done over the years, I, you talk about building programs, places like Middle Georgia. I mean, just uh, from the ground up, just like what you're doing right here. And it's not just the athletic department. It's the entire university. But one of the things that, that you have mentioned uh, a number of occasions is the fact that, that you want to build into the young men and build yes. these athlete, athletes yes. and help them to grow. How do you do something like that through football? Here you go. You're going to get me in trouble. I say this all the time. I'm an old school guy. Uh, I, I believe in developing. It's not where the, the new school now that we want to go jump in the porter. I'm getting in trouble with my mouth now. We go get that kid that's already advanced. I like to take that clay and I like to mold that young person. I always say to me is I want to make a person a man. I don't want them to let football use them. I want them to be able to use football. Um, over my history, I've graduated 95% of my players. That's unheard of, you know. We've, I've had the opportunity to send them off to, to NFL, but the ones I like is the CEO, the business managers, you know, those guys that are making that six-figure of just seeing them come in and using football to get that degree. And that's the model that I've always used in the last 20 years is don't let football use you. Uh, if a young man comes and work in my program, I want to make him a better father, a better husband, and a better person in the workplace. If I've done those three things, I've created a man, not someone that's laying on mama's sofa, that, but able to pay for mama's sofa. Uh, you know, we, we, we've got to get them out of that video games. We've got to get them back out here on the fields. We, we've got to get them moving around again. And I think that we hold the key as, as the old generation to teach the new generation that's coming a, along that. Football is still football. Like even in the 1950s, 1960s, still has air in it. You know, it's, it doesn't have uh, anything else and it has air in it. So we got to teach that. We got to go back to the fundamental, the little things. As my old mentor, Dennis Rowley, used to say is we got to dot our I's and we got to cross our T's. I think you're exactly right, Coach. Well, then we touched on this just a little bit, but if there are athletes that are out there and, and they're still looking for a home, looking for some place to go, and by the way, specifically, some some linemen, some big linemen. Big linemen. We need them. We need them. Well, we don't turn down any athletes, though, now. Okay. We want them all. We want them all. Well, how, Coach, how do they get in touch with you? Uh, I, I, I run my Twitter all the time. I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, I'm really big on Twitter. And then we also have johnmelvin.org. They can go online and, and get in touch with me. Or I also give out my personal number. Uh, it is 434-509-8543. One more time, 434 434- Five zero nine eight five four three, and you can you can get at me. Yeah, that's what the young people say. Get at me. I'm see. I'm old. I'm old. Using young people's verbs. Uh, it's Don Lee at nine five nine six Twitter. Here I am talking about Twitter. Back in the phone we had. Back in the day we had. Uh, we didn't have cell phones. We had the phones. You know how it is. I'm old. I guess he, he, we didn't have all this Twitter and. We, didn't have all this other stuff but now i'm trying to reach the kids through twitter through facebook you know we have a john melvin football facebook the guys just the guys i mean they can just come online and we'll promise you i'll get a coach at you know to kind of come contact them and get you know in contact with them well we we do have a first here because this is the first time on on this channel that uh, uh coach has actually given out his phone number um <laughs> the program so uh, that it's always it's always nice to get to do new things and so we're seeing that new coach really quickly then i i teased the schedule a little bit how about this less than a month and a half from now you're going to go to fort worth to take on texas wesleyan university a program that uh really is coming along and and coming off the conference title uh you have yep. two games all the way with centenary right there in state so that's uh, good to have uh, a number of other games in including the fact that you end your season uh at Pineville, just have to, again, stay in state, just go up the road a little ways to Pineville, take on Louisiana Christian, another program that, that is on the rise as well. Eight games on the schedule, and this is a university that hasn't been around for two full years yet. So, Coach, talk oh, about that. A bit. It, isn't it a blessing? You know, you just imagine four months ago this wasn't even there. Now all of a sudden we've got an eight-game schedule, and we're playing some good talent. You know, we're, 
we're playing the show that we are serious about going into the NAI. Who open who who opens up with Texas Wesleyan? I think they were nine and three last year. And who ends with Louisiana Christian? You're going to go out and try to get teams that you can beat. Well, my thing was that I want to show them that we're serious about going in the NAI. I, I make fun at the coaches when I talk. I tell them, "Don't beat my head in." I got a young guys that's coming in, but they don't. They're not going to forget if you beat a head in. But it's a it's a learning tool in between that first game and all the way to the end uh, of where we start and what we finish at. If we get, and I'm not going to say it, if when we report August the 1st, we've made history. You know, we we built something um, out of nothing. And it's amazing. I get more excited every day that just the kids is contacting me and the coaches is contacting me. The dream is coming alive now. Um, and we got a great schedule. And not only just a great schedule, we're playing pretty good football you know we play uh go we go to florida memorial down in miami they're pretty good uh we got some two two teams on our schedule whose new schools is kind of doing exactly what we're doing so we didn't really just build a schedule to win we built a schedule to measure off to go into 2024 i'm 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 old so i'm a little bit crazy now now coach you keep i say this is and, and, and we talked about the fact we're the same age so I don't know what you're trying to say in all that. But no, it's, it's okay. Well, trust me, my, my wife said, I don't know how much more we can keep doing this. I was like, just bear with me, bear with me. She's like, we go around the country. It's like, just bear with me. We got one more in us, you know, one more in us. And then God just, he keeps on showing me every day. You're not old, you know, you're just as old as you say you are. And uh, the energy that I have, you probably can feel it is, I wake up like this. I wake up just thanking God, just, you know, giving me the opportunity to build something, you know, uh, um, a lot of people complain about what they don't have me. I see it as an opportunity, I see it as an opportunity to go find and make this work, to make this work or to make that work. Uh, I guess that's my mentor coming out of me. He taught me that if it's a field out there, we can play football. Let's just go play. All right, coach. That, that leads me to my last question. Uh, you talk about the the games. You got have game in Florida, Texas, all around. Uh, you have home games too on the schedule. Where are you going to play your home games? We're playing in Memorial Stadium here uh, in Crowley, Louisiana. We're, we're juggling with some things right now. We're even going to play some JV games this year. So you'll see the up and coming couple more games that's going to be added to that because we want to give every kid an opportunity. Um, and also, we're traveling to. Miami. We're going to Louisiana. We're over in Texas. We want to give them the best college experience that is, especially with the model that we're excited about. This model that we're building, it's unbelievable. Um, it's going to be the the new thing that's coming. You know, we're doing online classes, uh, percentage in the classroom, percentage out. It's just like our master's program, your doctoral programs. Uh, but we're also doing hands-on. So I, I love it. it. It's a great model. All right. Well, we're going to be following the Millers this year as, as well, and, and I hope that everyone has learned something about John Melvin University. If you haven't uh, yet and you want to know more about them, you can find them online there. Crowley, Louisiana, that's our stop today, and it has been a just a joy and a privilege to get to visit with Coach Don Lee, again, the inaugural head coach for the John Melvin Millers. Coach, thank you so much for spending time with us today here on the Summit. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Keep, please keep following us. See where we start. I usually say what we, we're showing the good, the bad, and the ugly. So we want you to see where we start and where we're going to.